Don't be that rider that always gets somebody else to change your inner tube. There's no excuse for it. We should all know how to do it and always take out at least two spare tubes when we're heading out on the bike. Here's our quick and easy guide of how to change a flat. If you lift up the back of your bike, spin the cranks and click the rear mech into the smallest cog on the cassette, when you open the quick release the wheel will drop out far easier as there's less resistance on the chain. Make sure the tube is fully deflated, then push the beading in the centre of the rim. Grab your tyre levers and hook the first one under the bead of your tyre and push it downwards, levering the tyre over the edge of the rim and hook it onto the spokes to keep it in place. Take a second tyre lever and do the same a little further down the wheel, about 12 centimetres or 5 inches apart. Slide the rest of the tyre off the rim. If you can't, use a third tyre lever. Now remove the inner tube and check the tyre. Be careful when checking inside the tyre near the puncture location. Sometimes there may be no obvious cause as it's possible that the puncture was caused by impact and pinching rather than penetration. With your new tube, pump it up enough so it holds shape. This helps avoid the tube getting caught between the rim and the bead of the tyre. Put the inner tube valve into the valve hole and screw on the lock ring. Place the rest of the inner tube inside the tyre. Start by using your fingers and push the bead onto the rim. What would you advise if people are struggling to get the tyre back on the rim? The uh, best thing to do is pinch the tyre in from the bead of the rim all the way around. And this stops the tyre sticking to the rim and helps loosen the tyre off. It makes life easier getting it back on. If you're struggling with this, very carefully use your tyre levers to push the beads back on as there's a risk here that the tube can pinch and end up puncturing again. Ideally, you'd always use a track pump, but when you puncture out on the road, the chances are you're going to have to use a mini pump. So bring the valve up to the top and carefully lock the mini pump on making sure that you don't twist the valve because that can damage it or even snap it off. Then when you start pumping to inflate the tube, you're not going to get the same sort of PSI in as you would with a floor pump, but you need to make sure that you're going to get enough in to get you home. Once you've got as much air in the tube as you think you can, you need to unlock the mini pump and then again carefully pull it off in a straight line so that you're not going to damage that valve and end up back at square one. So tighten the valve back up, pop your wheel back in and you're ready to roll home. For more maintenance tips from British Cycling, click up here and for strength exercises, click down here.